shrinking cap, Grandpa? Catch me if you can! Grandpa! No! Be careful! Grandpa, stop! Go, Jason. Uh... It was the school holidays, and I was playing marbles with Grandpa. Not bad, not bad. But we can make it go even faster. What we need is the right marble. Maybe I'll buy some more today, Grandpa. Oh, I want to come with you. I'll make sure you get some good ones, like a, a, a shooter, a few peewees, a bumblebee, a couple of rainbows, and a spiral corkscrew. Miss Smiley was about to arrive. On some days, Miss Smiley looked after a boy called Troy. On today was one of those days. She was taking me and Troy to Mr. Whoops' shop to spend our pocket money. I wonder what Troy will choose. Troy? Yes, this was the day we went to buy a toy for a boy called Troy. You didn't say Miss Smiley was bringing Troy. Troy lives next door. And he's always inviting himself round to play. He's very spoilt and he's very rude. He does things like this. I want it! No! Me! Give it to you! And this. But I want to play with it! And this. And he makes Grandpa say... I'd like to teach him some manners. And if I come with you, maybe I can do just that. Not a shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of magical things. He can get into my car and make it go. Not the plane, Grandpa! He can fly off in my plane. Or he could just run for all he's worth. Once Grandpa's got his shrinking cap on, there's no stopping him. And I'm the only person who knows about it. Nobody else is allowed to see him. Suddenly the doorbell rang. I had no idea where Grandpa could be hiding. Hello, Jason. Hurry up! Oh, I suppose your Grandpa's gone for a little lie down, has he? Come on! I want to go buy a toy! You'll need your jacket, Jason. Troy, wait for us! There was nothing for it. Off we went. Me, Miss Smiley and Troy to Mr Whoops' shop. My favourite place in Sunny Sands. Our town is called Sunny Sands because it's always sunny and it's by the sea. We love spending time at our beach hut on the beach. And you can see the lighthouse from my bedroom window. This is Mum and Dad's bike shop. And here's Miss Smiley's Cafe, which serves the best ice cream sundaes in the world. Here's Mr Whoops' shop, where you can buy anything and everything. I wish Grandpa had come with us. Maybe he had. Because, as you know, Grandpa can hide anywhere. <gasps> Mr Whoops is called Mr Whoops because he's always having little accidents. <laughs> He drops things. He falls over things. Oops. He falls off things. Whoops. He even trips over his own feet. Whoops. Every time he knocks something over, he goes. Whoops. <laughs> Show us your bestest, most expensivest toy, then. <laughs> I'd found a jar of marbles. I was looking at all the bright, swirly colours 
and was just trying to remember which ones Grandpa wanted when... A yellow peewee! Grandpa had been hiding in my pockets all the time. And now he was off. <gasps> he loved Mr Whoops's shop. Luckily, Troy and Miss Smiley were busy looking at toys, so they didn't notice Grandpa. He was having a great time, leaping from shelf to shelf. that they'd see him any minute. But you know Grandpa, when he's got an idea, there's no stopping him. Oh, is that you playing, Jason? Of course, I had to pretend it was me. Oh, Jason wants a xylophone. Jason wants a xylophone. No, I don't. I want marbles. Who's been eating my porridge? I grabbed the bear to try to get at Grandpa, but Grandpa had already gone. Oh, Jason wants a teddy. Jason wants a teddy. <laughs> no, I don't. I want marbles. I looked around for Grandpa, and suddenly I saw him. Grandpa lost his balance and bumped into a big jigsaw. Now Mr Whoops was hurt, and Grandpa had disappeared. <laughs> Miss Smiley took Mr Whoops out the back to see to his head. I went to find Grandpa. But I didn't find him. I found these. Grandpa's clothes. This meant he was running about the shop in his pants. I put the clothes in my pocket. And just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, I saw him. Grandpa, what are you doing? I've always fancied playing the bagpipes. What's that noise? It's that doll. How does it work? Is it remote controlled? It must have a computer inside it or something. I know, let's have a look under its funny skirt. Hey, watch it, laddie. It can talk! This time, Grandpa had gone too far. Hey, 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 I want the little doll in the skirt. You want what, dear? Uh, he must mean the Scottish doll. Yes, yes, yes! No, not that one. I want the one that talks. Oh, he's got such a lively imagination. No! I want that one, and I want it now! Before I knew it, Grandpa was being wrapped up. I needed a rescue plan, and I needed it fast. And Jason would like a jar of marbles. Actually, I've changed my mind. I'd like a Scottish doll too, please. Copycat! Troy had got Grandpa out of his box and was staring at him. Surely Grandpa would keep still and quiet this time. But he didn't. Hello again, laddie. I decided to get my doll out too. Your doll is rubbish. It doesn't do anything. Na, 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 na. Your doll is rubbish. I needed to swap the dolls before Troy took Grandpa home. But how? I want a chocolate milkshake with a double chocolate chip muffin and chocolate sauce. Please. What? You need to learn some manners. I want this, I want that. Tut, tut. Where are your pleasers and your thank yous? And you shouldn't be so rude to your wee friend there either. Now, you go over to Miss Smiley and ask nicely and have some fresh orange juice and fruit salad. You eat far too much chocolate. Yes. Right. OK. Oh, I did enjoy that. Troy's back was turned. This was my only chance. That's enough, Grandpa. Time to swap you. 
Oh, no. Oh, yes. You're going back in my pocket where you'll find your clothes. It really does talk. Honest, Miss Smiley. I'm sure it does, dear. No, it even knows my name. Go on. Say something. I mean, please say something. Oh, I expect he was Jason having a little joke. He's always putting on funny voices. It, it wasn't Jason. It talked to me. I'm sure it did. Thanks for taking me to the toy shop today, Miss Smiley. It was really kind of you. I was really pleased to get back home. I ran inside ahead of Troy and Miss Smiley and quickly put Grandpa down. He whipped his shrinking cap off and was soon back to his normal size. We did it, Jason. We taught that boy Troy some manners. Teamwork, laddie. Aye, teamwork. <laughs> Smart work there, Jason, buying that other doll. Just a minute. And Grandpa opened his treasure chest. It's where he keeps all sorts of things he had when he was a boy. I just remembered I had these. Oh, Grandpa! Hello, Grandpa. Sorry, I can't stay. Troy needs his tea. He's been such a sweet boy today. I wish you'd seen him. Bye! 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 <laughs> Yay! Grandpa in my pocket! Hello, I'm Jason Mason and I live with my family in Sunny Sands. Our town is called Sunny Sands because it's always sunny and it's by the sea. This is Mum and Dad's bike shop, and here's Miss Smiley's Cafe, which serves the best ice cream sundaes in the world. Then there's Mr Whoops' shop, where you can buy anything and everything. This is my house, where I live with my Mum, Dad, Sister and Grandpa. I wonder what's in there. It's brilliant. It was Sunday, and my friend Josh had come round. Grandpa let us open his treasure chest to play with all his old toys. Hey, I love the boat. This is an old favourite of mine. Monkey Albert. Hello, Josh. Hello, Just Josh. then, <laughs> Mum came downstairs. Hello, everyone, but I've got to dash out to visit Great Aunt Loretta. She's not feeling very well. But don't worry, I've sent for someone to come and look after you all. I don't want you to have to manage on your own, Grandpa. Can you guess who it might be? No. It was Bubbles the babysitter. Hi. Hello, Bubbles. Hello, Grandpa. Little did we know that today there would be trouble for Bubbles. Bubbles is always great fun. Sometimes we make things. Sometimes we play bat and ball. Sometimes we do face painting. And sometimes we act out Captain Dumbletwit stories. But today, we were having a sing-song in the garden. Place to be. It's sunny and it's sandy and it's right. We thought we were in for a great afternoon. Just then we heard... OK, I'll go. Someone was at the door. Bubbles went to answer it. Jason's friend Troy. I have come to play. Oh. <laughs> hey! Troy's come to play! I met your mum outside. She said that it was okay for me to come round since Bubbles was here. Oh, she did, did she? Time I went for a little lie down. I'll be right back, Josh. Grandpa, wait! Ah! <laughs> Troy lives next door. And he's always invited himself around to play. He's very
very spoilt and he's very rude. Na, 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 na. He does things like this. I want it! No! Me! Give it to! And this. <laughs> but I want to play with it! And this. <sighs> and he makes Grandpa say... That boy Troy needs a taste of his own medicine. If he thinks he's going to scare Bubbles, then he's got another thing coming. Not a shrinking gap, Grandpa! <laughs> Grandpa, stop! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get to put all kinds of magical things. He can get into my car and make it go. on Gordon, my toy seagull. Whee! <laughs> Not the plane, Grandpa. He can fly off in my plane. Grandpa, watch out! I'm the only one who knows that Grandpa shrinks, so it's really important that nobody else sees him. Grandpa, hide! I could hear Troy and Bubbles coming. his uses. We knew that Troy just had to be stopped. I'm not at all scared. I'm just fine. Deep breaths. Careful, Bubbles! Watch out! Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> scary cat! Scary cat! It's not funny! Oh, it's fine. I'm just being silly. <laughs> Let's put Monkey Albert up here, shall we? Where he can't get up to any more mischief. There. Now, who's for a game of hide and seek? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One, so Troy had two, to count, and three, we had to hide. I hid behind the sofa. I knew that Grandpa would have a plan, and he might need my help. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty! Grandpa? Troy went to Grandpa's bedroom door. I thought you were having a lie down. Are you hiding? Now I knew what Grandpa's plan was. He was going to try to give Troy a few frights because he'd scared Bubbles. And you know what Grandpa's like? If he's got an idea in his head, there's no stopping him. <laughs> hey, have you got a battery inside you or something? <laughs> no, you're just rubbish. Now, where is everybody? I thought I should let Troy find me because Grandpa was going to need my help. Ha! Found you, Jason. You're rubbish at hiding. <laughs> Grandpa had got Monkey Albert into the coffee jar with him. This was all going to go horribly wrong. How'd you do that? I don't like it. <laughs> This time, Grandpa had gone too far. Troy was sure to find him in the coffee jar. That's it. I'm going to throw you into the pond. No! You're a horrible monkey. No, you're a horrible boy. You're a big bully. It's me! The good 
good news was that Grandpa had not been chucked in the pond. The bad news was that Troy was running round the garden yelling. Bubbles came out of her hiding place. The monkey! It's alive! It talked to me and everything! Honest, it's really scary! You're just overexcited, Troy. Deep breaths now. So Bubbles made Troy breathe in and out until he'd calmed down. I saw that Monkey Albert had gone, so I just knew that Grandpa was up to something else. I'm so sorry I tried to scare you today, Bubbles. Look! Monkey Albert's climbed a tree! <laughs> oh, Jason! You must have put him up there! <laughs> you are a one, you are! <laughs> it was you all the time, Jason! How did you do that? It was so cool! Now, who's for ice cream? Oh, me, me, me! I'm for ice cream! Ice cream. Oh, 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 oh. Grandpa, jump down right now! I picked Grandpa up and put him in my pocket. And while the others were getting ice cream, I put him back down by his chair. Off came the shrinking cap and Grandpa came back to his normal size. I don't think Troy will try and scare anyone else in a hurry, do you? No, Grandpa. I think you taught him a lesson. I think we both did. Teamwork, eh? Teamwork. <laughs> When Mum came home, it was time for Troy to go. Bye-bye, Troy. Take care now. Anyone like to watch a DVD? Yes! yes! Captain Dumbletwit discovers a small planet just to the left of Pluto. Yay! I'm sorry about Troy. Still, just as well you came, Bubbles. Grandpa would never have been able to deal with Troy on his own. No, of course I wouldn't. Dumbletwit discovers a small planet just to the left of Pluto. Grandpa in my pocket. The thing about Grandpa is that he's always fun. We read Captain Dumbletwit stories. This rocket sprung out of the side of the spaceship. We play lots of games. One of the things I like doing best with Grandpa is making pictures. <laughs> we share our ice cream. <laughs> and today, we were doing armchair exercises. But we weren't the only ones getting exercise. Dad and Jemima had gone on a massively long bike ride. And Mum's latest hobby was this. Salsa dancing. In fact, everyone in Sunny Sands had gone fitness mad. We were all trying to shake up and shape up. Keep it up, Grandpa. It's really important you keep fit. Must be awful having to spend all your time in that chair. Of course, Mum has no idea that when Grandpa puts his shrinking cap on, he's more energetic than all of us. You better come to the bike shop with me today, Jason. We'll be busy. What with it being shake up and shake up. Oh! Mum had tripped over Jemima's dolls, Peter and Persephone. Luckily, she wasn't hurt. Look, how cute is that? <laughs> Peter and Persephone are both dressed to do the shake up and shape up too. What a snazzy outfit. I could do with something like that to do my exercising in. <laughs> You are so funny. <laughs> I'll just go and make the lunch boxes up and then we'll go. Tuna mayo, OK? I knew what Grandpa was thinking and it was a very worrying thought. Not a shrinking cup, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of magical things. He can get into my car and make it go. Fly off in my plane. He can ride on Gordon, my toy seagull. Grandpa! Or he could just run for all he's worth. Oh, Grandpa gone for a little lie down, has he? It's all about exercising. Must have worn him out. I know. 
We'll take the music down to the shop and practice while we're waiting for customers. Come on, Jason Mason. So Mum and I went off to the bike shop in Campo. And Mum said... I could really do with a partner for my salsa dancing. And I said, what about Dad? And Mum said... <laughs> Dad? He's got two left feet. He can't dance any better than Grandpa. And I thought, if only she knew. Soon we arrived at the bike shop. It's called Lend It, Mend It and Vend It. Because we lend, mend and sell bikes. We'd been at the bike shop for a while, but there was no sign of Grandpa. I was starting to think that he decided to stay at home after all. Oh, run out of bells! All that chasing about after Grandpa had made me feel hungry. So I opened my lunchbox, and what should I find in the space where Mum puts my banana? Grandpa! Last. I thought you'd never open up. It stinks of tuna in here. Poor. What are you doing? I've come to shake up and shape up, of course. Not here, you can't. Somebody will see you. But once Grandpa's got an idea in his head, there's no stopping him. <laughs> Grandpa was well away, dancing the cha 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 up and down the counter. Then all of a sudden, the door opened, and who should walk in but Mr. Whoops! Whoops! This is a surprise! <laughs> I thought I should do my bit for Shake Up and Shape Up Week, so I've decided to buy a bike. <gasps> That's marvellous! I've got a bike in the workshop that would be perfect for you. Come and see. Oh, how exciting! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> what colour is it? Mr. <laughs> Whoops riding a bike? We can't let that happen, Jason. It'll be a disaster. I had to agree with Grandpa. You see... <gasps> Mr. Whoops is called Mr. Whoops because he's always having little accidents. <laughs> he drops things. <laughs> he falls over things. Oops. He falls off things. Whoops! He even trips over his own feet. Whoops! We needed to stop Mr Whoops from buying a bike. We needed to make a plan. But there was no time to make a plan. Because just at that moment, Mr Whoops' mum came back in, wheeling a shiny red bike. Oh, this is so exciting. I've never even sat on a bike before. And now I'm going to ride one all over Sunny Sands. <laughs> Riding a bike, Mr. Whoops, is very hard. Maybe you should try a different sport. Do you think so? Like what? Um, uh, uh, like cricket? Oh, no. I'm not very good with bats. Whoops, whoops. <laughs> um, uh, maybe, um, football? Oh, no. I'm not very good with balls. Whoops! <laughs> Bike riding is definitely the thing for me. And I'm sure you'll be fine. Let's try it out now. Oh, yes. Let's... Yes. Shall I just put that leg Oh, well, you can do it that way. So Mum held the bike while Mr Whoops climbed on. Oh, what? Oh, this one. I, think, oh, I think I've got there it we now. go. Oh, yes. He um, put his feet carefully on the pedals and... Whoa! I quickly hid Grandpa so they couldn't whoops. see him. Whoops. Oh, perhaps the saddle's too high. <laughs> Ah, this is what I need. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? A little cyclist. That's Jemima's doll, Peter. Did you bring it with you, Jason? Sort of. He could be my lucky mascot. I love his outfit. Do you have anything like that in my size? The good news was that Mum did have a cycling suit to fit Mr Whoops. The bad news was that... Mr. Whoops has put his lucky mascot on the handlebars. Why don't you take the bike for a test ride? Yes, now I've got my lucky mascot. I can do anything. Everything was going wrong. Grandpa's plan was to stop Mr. Whoops riding a bike, not to go with him. Time to shake up and shape up. Here we go. Good luck. Just keep pedalling. 
Don't look so worried, Jason. I'm sure Mr. Whoops is going to be fine. I think he's going to absolutely love cycling. <laughs> Whoops. Mum put some bandages on Mr. Whoops and I took his lucky mascot off the bike and put him on the counter. I was hoping that Mr. Whoops' accident had put him off bike riding, but no. I nearly did it. I'm going to try one more time. No, you mustn't. You can't. Of course he can. You know the saying, if at first you don't succeed... Try doing something else. Everybody's good at something. You just have to find out what it is. But I'm not good at any sports. Then I saw Grandpa. He was sending me a message. It doesn't have to be a sport, Mr. Whoops. How about salsa dancing? Salsa dancing? Perfect! Come on, Mr. Whoops. Whoops! Mr. Whoops turned out to be a brilliant dancer. He and Mum did the Shake Up and Shape Up Salsa all afternoon. And Grandpa got to dance too. Whoops! Time to go home, Grandpa. How would you rather travel? In my pocket or in my lunchbox? Don't mind. Anything, so long as it's not a bike. <laughs> At the end of the day, I brought Grandpa home safely in my pocket. I ran inside ahead of Mum. And put him on the floor. Grandpa quickly whipped off his cap and came back to his normal size. Oh, we did it, Jason. We got Mr. Whoops to shake up and shape up without hurting himself. That's what I call teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> there you are, Grandpa. You'll never guess what we've been doing while you've been resting. Salsa dancing by any chance? Yes! With Mr. Whoops! I might not have sold him a bike, but I have found myself a new dancing partner. Now, who's for some more dancing? Come on, Grandpa! Get those arms moving! Actually, I'm feeling a bit tired. You? Tired? But you haven't done anything! Grandpa in my pocket! This is me, Jason Mason. This is my house where I live with my mum, dad, grandpa and sister Jemima. It was Jemima's birthday. Grandpa, that's enough! Grandpa, it's going to... We were having a party. <laughs> mum and dad had got her some new pink clothes. I'd got her a new pink hairbrush and wash bag. And Grandpa had got her a fantastic pink watch. Pink was Jemima's favourite colour, by the way. Everyone was really excited about the party, especially Grandpa. He loves party food. And he loves party games. <laughs> but Grandpa was in for a surprise because at Jemima's party, we were also going to have Mr. Marveloso's magic show. Ta-da! Ah, perfect in pink. But listen here, Jemima, why are you bothering with this Mr. Marveloso fellow? I could do a magic show for you. You can't do magic, Grandpa. Oh, you'd be surprised. You see this coin? Boom. <laughs> It's gone down the back of my dress. Yes, well, that's because it's called the coin down the back of the dress trick. Yeah, right. Just leave the magic to Mr. Marveloso, eh, Grandpa? 
and we didn't have to wait long before Mr. Marveloso appeared. Mr. Oso, Marveloso, at your service. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Where do I set up? Out here? I'll give you a hand, Mr. Marveloso. Grandpa was not impressed. Who does he think he is? He's Mr. Not So Oso Marveloso, if you ask me. He's no fun, Jason. I can smell it. I'm not going to stand by and watch him spoil Jemima's party. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of magical things. He can ride on Gordon, my toy seagull. And make it go. No, Grandpa, come back! Get down, Grandpa! He can fly off in my plane. The doorbell! Hide, Grandpa! Jemima's friends are at the door. Ah, oh, Grandpa gone for a little lie down, has he? Oh dear, he'll miss the party. Come on. Everyone was all set to have a really fun time, but Mr. Marveloso had other ideas. While Mum and Dad were in the kitchen getting the food ready, he made us sit completely still and silent. Grandpa had been right. He was no fun at all. I wondered where Grandpa had got to, but I didn't have to wonder for long. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, for my first trick, I was about to acquire the assistance. Who made that noise? Of course, I had to pretend it was me. Stop messing about, boy, or there'll be no magic show. Oh, now, where was I? Oh, I hate being interrupted like that. Now, I was really think. worried that Grandpa had hurt himself, I know. but he hadn't. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for my first trick, I need a... Cup of tea, Mr Marveloso. Not now. I'm right in the middle of magic. Oh, OK, then. As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, for my first trick, I need a watch. You. And the birthday girl. Jemima really didn't want to hand over her watch. And where was Grandpa? Surely he'd think of something. Come on, nice and quickly, haven't got all day. Chop, 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 chop. <laughs> Mr Marveloso put Jemima's new pink watch in a velvet bag. Then he took out a hammer and... Bang, 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 bang! <gasps> no! Sit down, little girl. But you've just broken my watch! Oh, Jemima! I had a feeling that the watch wasn't really broken, but that it was all part of the trick. I'll finish that trick later. The good news was that I'd found Grandpa. The bad news was he was climbing into the back of Mr Marveloso's magic table. Mr Marveloso was about to begin his next trick. I started to panic. Any moment he was going to find Grandpa. It's your lucky day. I think I'm ready for my next trick. Phew. Grandpa had escaped being seen. He must have found a clever hiding place. Or maybe it wasn't such a clever hiding place. Grandpa was there, all right. I was just about to sneak him into my pocket when... What are you doing, boy? Sit down. Now. I shall make something disappear. This squeaky chicken! Mr Marveloso had taken Beowulf's squeaky chicken. Beowulf wasn't going to be at all pleased about that. And neither was Grandpa. Mr Marveloso dropped the chicken on top of Grandpa, covered it up, then waved his magic wand. It is oh so Marveloso! The chicken had disappeared. And so had Grandpa. Nobody felt like clapping because nobody liked Mr Marveloso. Where was Grandpa? He'd been in some sticky situations before, 
But he'd never vanished into thin air. Not impressed. I see. Squeaky dog toy not good enough for you. Fine. Well, watch this. Something amazing is about to appear. I had a nasty feeling that something amazing was going to be Grandpa. I couldn't bear to look. It is oh so marveloso. It wasn't Grandpa. It was a rabbit. Have you any idea how hard that trick is? Give me some applause. Come on. Come then on. something very strange happened. I'm not surprised nobody wants to clap you, Mr. Marveloso. You really are the most unpleasant magician I've ever had to work with. Who said that? The rabbit. Don't be ridiculous. Rabbits can't talk. Magic rabbits can. You're a very rude and unkind magician. What? No. It can't possibly. A talking rabbit? I'm getting out of here! Yay! You're a very rude and unkind magician. It's <laughs> <laughs> not funny, Jason. Now Mr. Marveloso's gone and I'll never get my watch back. Mum! Jason just wrecked my watch! It was a disaster. Dad had taken care of the rabbit. Now I had to take care of Grandpa. Grandpa, we're in big trouble. Jemima's all upset. I think you better take your cap off now. No, not yet. We've got to make it better for Jemima. Here's what we'll do. To... Grandpa had found Jemima's watch. Grandpa told me to get everyone back in the garden. Mr. Marveloso had dropped his cloak and wand so that I could be the magician. Grandpa promised he'd be with me every step of the way. And he was. He was hiding in the hat. But he wasn't alone. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for my first trick, I'm going to magic something to life. Beowulf's squeaky dog toy. <laughs> While I was bowing, Grandpa made his way across the garden to my plane. He was ready for our next trick. I want my watch back. OK, Jemima, your wish is my command. I'm going to make your watch drop from the sky. <gasps> but for the magic to work, you must close your eyes tight. I checked that everyone's eyes were closed. Then I signalled to Grandpa that it was time. Up went Grandpa on the plane, with Jemima's watch squashed in with him. The plane circled round the garden, and then... Jason, you're amazing! Later, while everyone was eating, I sneaked Grandpa back into the sitting room. And off came the cap. Oh, we did it, Jason! <laughs> Great magic, Grandpa! It wasn't magic, Jason, it was teamwork! Teamwork! <laughs> <laughs> Here you are, Grandpa. Such a shame you had to go and have a little lie down. You missed a brilliant magic show. Poor old Grandpa always manages to disappear just at the wrong time. You can say that again. <laughs> in my pocket. Captain Dumbletwit pressed a button and an enormous tennis racket sprung out of the side of his spaceship. Grandpa was reading me a Captain Dumbletwit story. He was going as fast as he could because any minute Mum was going to start up again on her latest hobby. Mum's always taking up new hobbies. One week it's karate, then it's salsa dancing, then cake decorating, the ukulele, knitting. Opera singing. And now this. Yes, Mum was learning to play. 
A tuneful toot on the trumpet. It was making our ears hurt. Even Beowulf's. Oh, I don't know why Mum chose the trumpet. There are loads of instruments here, much easier to play. Triangles, tambourines, maracas. <laughs> It's a good job I'm going out this afternoon. Grandpa was going to meet his friends at the Young at Heart Club. Once a month, they meet at Miss Smiley's Cafe for ice cream sundaes and a sing-song with Mr Whoops. But today, there was a bit of a problem. Hello, it's Miss Smiley here. I've got a bit of a problem and I was wondering if you could help. I'll try. Must be time to go. I wonder what we'll sing today. Sunny sand. Sunny sands, it's a great place to be. Bad news, I'm afraid. Mr Whoops has fallen over his keyboard and broken it, so he won't be able to play for the sing-song. But the good news is, wait for it, Miss Smiley has asked me to play instead on the trumpet. <laughs> You'll have to come with us, Jason. I know. We'll take all the instruments in case anyone wants to join in. Actually, uh... I don't think I'm up to the young at heart today. I, I'm, I'm feeling a bit tired, you know. Oh, no, Grandpa, what a shame. And you so love your sing-song. Get ready, Jason. I'll put some lipstick on and then we'll go. Grandpa, you've got to come. Mum's going to need our help. Couldn't agree more. And I'll be a lot more help to her if I'm small. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! <laughs> Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get to put all kinds of magical things. He can get it to my car and make it go. Or he could just run for all he's worth. I couldn't find Grandpa anywhere. Don't forget the instrument box, Jason. Where's Grandpa? Gone for a little lie down, I expect. That's what everyone thinks when Grandpa goes missing. They don't know about the shrinking cap. So we got into Campo and set off for Miss Smiley's cafe. And Mum said, I've never played the trumpet in public before. I'm so excited. And I said, Aren't you a bit nervous? And Mum said, <laughs> no! Such a pity Grandpa can't make it. Poor thing, he spends so much time stuck indoors. But Grandpa wasn't planning to be stuck indoors today. I was sure he was on his way. I just didn't know how. Soon we arrived at Miss Smiley's Cafe, which, as you know, is the best cafe in the world. The young at heart were just finishing their ice cream sundaes and were ready for their sing-song to begin. Mum was warming up in the toilet. Do you think she's all right? Yes, um, just doing some last-minute practice. Oh, of course. Oh, won't be long now, I promise. Perhaps I'd better hurry her up. I was wondering where Grandpa was. But I didn't have to wonder for long, because he was in the instrument box playing the maracas. Of course, I had to pretend it was me. I quickly took the box behind the curtains and opened it up. Oh, thank goodness it's you. It was getting really stuffy in there. How's it going? Not very well. Mum was making strange noises in the toilet. Well, you can't keep the young at hearts waiting any longer. You'll have to start the sing-song yourself. Me? So before I knew it, there I was on the stage, about to sing. Sunny sands, sunny sands, it's a great place to be. It's sunny and it's sandy and it's right by the sea. There's a beach from here to here, you can stroll along the pier. There's a cafe for a bite to eat. Enjoy your ice cream Sunday treat. Suddenly I saw Grandpa. I couldn't see how he was going to help Mum from up there. 
But there was no time to find out because she was ready at last. And she was looking very excited. Thank you for starting us off, Jason. That was wonderful. But now it's time for the star of today's show. I give you Jason's mum on the trumpet. <laughs> mum took a bit of time to get herself completely ready. We all held our breath and waited for her to play. At last, she put the trumpet to her lips and... <laughs> then she tried again and... <laughs> Grandpa was signalling to me. Um, I think it might be better over this side, Mum. There's, um, there, there's more light. Oh, OK. I had no idea what Grandpa was up to, but he definitely had a plan. Mum tried again, but all that came out was... <laughs> oh, I don't understand. It sounded really good at home. I think it must be broken. Sorry, but I don't think I can play. No, Mum was giving up, and I didn't know what else I could do. But Grandpa did. At last, I knew why he needed to be small to help. You must try again, Mum. Please try blowing really gently. Go on. OK, just for you. So Mum put the trumpet to her mouth again and blew very gently. And guess what? She played an amazing tune. But of course, it wasn't Mum playing at all. It was Grandpa making a trumpet sound. Sunny sounds, sunny sounds, it's a great place to be. It's sunny and it's sandy and it's right by the sea. There's a beach from here to here, you can stroll along the pier. There's a cafe full of bites of meat, enjoy a nice few Sunday treats. Sunny sounds, sunny sounds, it's the only place. Once Mum, or rather Grandpa, had started, there was no stopping them. Sunny sands, sunny sands, it's a great place to stay. The house is so, so pretty, and the sun shines every day. There's a lighthouse on the shore, oh who could ask for more? A toy shop for your buttons and spades, don't forget your hat and chase. Sunny sands, sunny sands, it's a great place to go. Hearts loved it. Mum was so happy, she decided to play a fanfare. She forgot all about blowing gently and blew as hard as she could. Luckily, the young at hearts were so busy clapping, they didn't see this. <laughs> Are you all right, Grandpa? Yes, fine, thanks. Just a bit of a sore throat. <laughs> I kept Grandpa safely in my pocket until we got home. I ran inside before anyone else. put him on the floor. Grandpa quickly whipped off his cap and came back to his normal size. We did it, Jason. Teamwork, eh? Yes, Grandpa. Teamwork! <laughs> there you are, Grandpa. How are you feeling? Any better? I'm not too bad. A bit thirsty. Me too. All that playing. I'll make a cup of tea. Such a shame you couldn't be there. It went ever so well, didn't it, Jason? It was fantastic. There's nothing I like better than a tuneful toot on a trumpet. <laughs> Grandpa, you're so clever. That's exactly how my trumpet playing sounded. Fancy that. <laughs> Grandpa in my pocket. 
Well, hey, time to go. Mum was taking me and Grandpa to the beach for the day. But just as we were about to leave, the doorbell rang. Thank goodness you're here. It was Great Aunt Loretta, Grandpa's oh. sister. Oh, I feel so sick. Oh, dear. Oh, my tummy. Ow! Ow! Great Aunt Loretta cooks very Ooh. odd food. She's always drinking spinach and sprout shake. Grandpa calls it green gloop. I reckon you've had too much green gloop. Green gloop, I'll have you know, does not give you tummy ache. It gives you muscles. Oh, Ow. Loretta. Oh, you're Ooh. not well. Don't worry. We'll look after you. Grandpa was disappointed. We weren't going to the beach after all. Instead, we were going to spend the day getting Aunt Loretta better. And tonight, I was going to a concert to see my favourite singer in the whole wide world. Look, here's my ticket. Rick, the rocking raver. singing. It's music to my ears. You're the sugar, sugar, the sugar in my tea. Oh, what I've got is CD too. Oh, look. Ooh. And now because I'm so poorly, I won't be able to go. Oh dear. I'll get something to settle your tummy, Loretta. Oh, oh I've got to go to the Great Aunt Loretta won't say the word toilet out loud because she thinks it's rude. There's only one thing for it, Jason. If we want to go to the beach and she wants to go and see Rick the Rocking Raver, then we've got to take her mind off her tummy ache. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks? He can get up to all kinds of magical things. Get down, Grandpa! Not the plane, Grandpa! He can fly off in my plane. Or he could just run for all he's worth. <gasps> Grandpa! Get down, Grandpa! Grandpa shrinks. When he's missing, everyone else thinks he's gone for a little lie down. Just then, Great Aunt Loretta came back. Grandpa, hide! And Grandpa hid in Great Aunt Loretta's handbag. Oh, Grandpa's gone for a little lie down, has he? He's no help, is he? Oh, here we are, Loretta. Oh. Now drink this up. It'll help your tummy ache. Oh. I'll go and see if I can find some soup for lunch. Oh, oh. I thought I should get Great Aunt Loretta to drink her medicine, but... No, take it away. I won't touch it. Oh, take my shoes off, Jason, please. This was the last ah. thing anyone would want to do. Oh. Grandpa found it very funny. Oh, and the socks too. It was all very well for Grandpa. <sighs> now it was my turn to laugh. <laughs> don't you laugh. I don't see what's so funny, Jason Mason. Ow. You'll feel better if you drink this. Promise. Oh. Drink me. Did that medicine just speak, Jason Mason? No, of course not. Drink me quick, you won't be sick. Then you can go and sing with Rick. Oh, I'm hearing voices. Oh, I'm not at all well. I'm imagining that medicine speaking to me. Julie, help! Help! Oh, help! Me too! Help! Oh, help! Oh, oh. Well, that didn't work. We need a different plan, Jason. I think we should try soothing her. Can you get the peas, please, Jason? Great Aunt Loretta is always tripping over things and hurting her toe. We have a bag of frozen peas in the freezer, especially for these moments. 
You'll feel better in the fresh air. I'll get back to the soup. I had no idea what Grandpa's soothing plan would be. He couldn't get into the garden through the kitchen because Mum was in there. But of course, Grandpa found another way. Grandpa flew right out my bedroom window and landed in the tree. I wondered how Grandpa planned to soothe Great Aunt Loretta. I soon found out. He was being a tweeting bird. Shush! That's all I need, a tweeting bird. Hush, you! I'm after some peace and quiet. Your plane's up in the tree, Jason. I suppose that tweeting bird flew it up there. Little did she know that she was absolutely right. But the tweeting bird was about to go too far. You are giving me a headache! No, please! You come out of there and stop tweeting! As Great Aunt Loretta tried to get Grandpa out of the back of the box, I pulled him out of the hole at the front. Run! There's no tweeting bird in there. Oh, I'm so poorly. First I think the medicine's speaking to me and then I imagine there's a tweeting bird in the box. Julie, help! Oh, Jason, we're not doing very well, are we? No, Grandpa. We need another plan. I know. I'll pretend to be Rick the Rocking Raver. How? You take me in and put me behind the radio then stand by with Rick the Rocking Raver's CD. Oh. Oh. So I put Grandpa behind the radio, and now we had to try out our next plan. Oh. I so wanted to go to Rick's concert. I know. Why don't I turn the radio on? That'll cheer you up. So I pretended to turn the radio on, and now it was Grandpa's turn to pretend. And my special guest today is the very one, the very only, Rick the Rockin' Raver. Well, hi. I'm Rick, and I'm rockin', and I'm raving. It's him! It's Rick! So it is! Well, that should cheer you up, Loretta. Uh, I'll go and do the soup. Now, is there a great Aunt Loretta out there listening? Because if there is, I got a message for you. There is, there is! It's me! My message is that I hope you're feeling tons better and that you'll make my concert tonight, Honey Pie. Oh, oh I am! I am! Oh, I'm feeling much better! Oh, he called me Honey Pie! And here's a little song just for you. And that was the moment to put the CD on without her seeing me. You're the sugar Sugar the sugar in my tea You're the icing Icing The icing on my cake You're the sunlight, sunlight. The shimmers on the sea You're the strawberry The strawberry in my shake Shake, shake, it is shake Whenever we're together Whatever the weather Every day is a fun day You're the cherry on top of my ice cream sundae You, yes you Oh, he's singing it for me! Oh, oh, oh. oh, Jason Mason, you must have found the radio station and told them I was poorly Oh, you're such a lovely boy Oh, oh, oh. oh I've got to get to that concert Come on, give me me socks Oh you're the honey, the honey on my toast. You're the apple, apple, the apple in my pie. You're the gravy, the gravy on my roast. You're the stars that twinkle in the sky. Thank 
goodness, that's over. Our plan had worked. Grandpa jumped off the shelf, took his shrinking cap off, and was soon Ooh. back to his normal size. Oh, we did it, Jason. We took our mind off her tummy ache. Yes, Grandpa. Teamwork, eh? Teamwork. <laughs> Here's your soup, Loretta. Oh, where's she gone? We got her better. So Great Aunt Loretta went to her concert, and we went to the beach. Hi, I'm Rick, and I'm rockin' and I'm ravin'. Goodness, Grandpa, that's exactly what he said on the radio. It could have been you. 